everyone, in today's video I've got a realistic uh, black and white marble effect for you. I've tried a few different techniques and this is the one that I like the most. So I'm going in with two coats of 80501 which is just a white from Blue Sky. You can see on the right there, those are my previous attempts at marble, realistic marble and I wasn't really happy with them but this technique I am quite happy with. So after the two uh, coats of white are cured, I'm applying a coat of top coat, just a regular old top coat, and not curing it, then I'm taking a fine brush with 80531, which is just a dark grey, not a black, it's a dark grey, and doing little squiggly lines of, you don't need much control over these lines, actually the less controlled you are the better, not a lot of pressure on the brush using quite a lot of the tip, I like to have some areas that are a little bit darker than others, then on those darker areas, I'm taking, I haven't cleaned off my brush, but I've just dipped it in some isopropyl alcohol. So there is still the gray on the brush, but I'm trying to kind, I'm kind of trying to thin out the thicker areas a little bit to make them, I don't know, more marbled, more blended. Uh, really, I, I'm taking my brush with the isopropyl alcohol and just wiggling it over pretty much all of the lines. And then in some of the areas that are still white, I'm taking what's left on my brush and just putting in some really faint lines. It's up to you how much white space you leave. Once I'm happy with that, I cure that completely. And you could absolutely stop here, just pop your top coat on and you're done. But for an extra step, I pop my top coat on before I cure it. I'm going in and doing the same kind of method but with uh, the white polish and mainly putting that over the areas that are a little bit darker just to tone them down a little bit. And now I put a little bit too much white on there but I'm going to repeat um, the process of dipping my brush into isopropyl alcohol and just kind of blending it away. Like I said you don't have to do this step if you were happy with your marble in the first step you could completely stop there. Every time you do a marble like this, it's going to look different, but I think it looks pretty cool. So once that's, once I was happy with that, I cured it, and now I'm putting on my final top coat, and that's the finished design. It's actually really quite easy. I don't know why I struggled for so long to get marble down, but I think I've got it now. Fingers crossed this wasn't just a fluke. I think I have got marbling down. You can see my two previous attempts. I wasn't super happy with them, uh, but yeah, I hope you can see that my final attempt looks pretty realistic, and I hope you learnt something from this video. So goodbye, see you in my next one.